Cryptocurrency is a space that is not very well understood in India and around the world, but that's slowly changing. Indian investors are not just techies in the big cities, but spread through the country as opportunities are democratically spreading to everyone who has access to the internet. And the long-term future for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies keeps gaining momentum around the world as the adoption of these technologies grows. After starting to accept Bitcoin, AMC Theatres, one of the biggest cinema chains in the US, has said that it will let customers pay in Ethereum and Litecoin. Speaking of Litecoin, there was also a bit of a hiccup in the crypto world when a fake press release announcing that Walmart was going to accept Litecoin gained traction and caused the value to spike up and then plummet when Walmart clarified that this wasn't true. Now, if you have a value of such a crypto and you have a lot of time, then you can imagine that this is how volatile it is. Volatile. Welcome back to Crypto Unfiltered. I'm Cyrus and I'm here to help you make sense of things like these as we learn more about cryptocurrency together. I was talking about adoption and I read a report recently that Magnum Real Estate Group, a leading US property management firm, will now allow customers to use Bitcoin to purchase certain commercial real estate properties. The momentum for Bitcoin keeps picking up, but here in this series, we're more interested in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency overall as an asset that you're investing in. Let's dive into that. At the time I'm recording this video, Bitcoin is worth 34.08 lakhs. By the time you're watching this, the number will be different as in the last 24 hours, the price of one Bitcoin fell by 6.19%. And if you come to this video later, it's going to change even more. Jitna zada ek saas bahu ke serial mein plots nahi badalte, usse zada Bitcoin ki value aadhe ghante mein badal jati hai. Crypto is volatile and it's also kind of complicated. But let's simplify it together. The first thing you need to do is study the volatility of any cryptocurrency you're investing in. Volatility is measured by using variance and standard deviation and sites like Crypto Volatility for one help you track this over time so you can understand the risks and make sense of the trends you're tracking. Look at the total number of people that hold a particular crypto the number of unique addresses and also look at the daily trade volumes. A healthy crypto isn't going to be held just by a few whales and it will be actively traded between multiple people. If you want to be a smart investor, you need to track these kind of metrics rather than just following the market, something that various experts have pointed out in this series. So, with these points in mind, let's see what experts are saying about the crypto market. Bitcoin, the oldest and biggest crypto, had broken past the $60,000 mark earlier this year. It dropped to a lot in June and July before rallying again, although not to the same level. But experts say that it could hit $100,000 in 2021 itself. A senior analyst at Bloomberg tweeted that with just four months left in the year, Bitcoin could double in value. He talked about the increasing difficulty in creating new Bitcoins as one thing that will drive up its value as well long-term holders who are not selling increasing scarcity. In this the Bitcoin adoption rate is increasing in the market and it seems that its value is going to be बढ़ेगी और इसका असर बाकी क्रिप्टो मार्केट पे भी पड़ेगा जैसा कि हमने 2021 की शुरुआत में देखा था। When Bitcoin rose and rose and rose, other tokens like Dogecoin and Ether also gained in value alongside it as people became more aware of crypto and wanted to enter the market. If Bitcoin really does rally the way people are predicting, then will the same thing happen again for other tokens? We caught up with an expert to find out what he thinks about the future potential for cryptocurrency as an investment. Also, this person has been an investor for a very long time and has been in the crypto space before many people even knew about crypto. 
What do you think when you hear experts say that Bitcoin could reach $100,000 this year? And if Bitcoin really were to rise to that level, what would you expect for other cryptocurrencies that are well known, like Ether and Doge? When an asset such as Bitcoin has gone to six times its value or for that matter to one sixth of its value in a matter of mere months, uh, I think it is completely believable that uh, it could go to $100,000 by the end of this year. I don't think that's an unlikely event. Having said that, Bitcoin with its 42% market cap dominance does act as the bellwether to other cryptocurrencies. And while the major cryptocurrencies might move up in tandem with Bitcoin, but I feel that Ethereum may do better and some of the smaller market cap cryptocurrencies may do much better if Bitcoin goes to 100K. That's what experts are predicting, but if the last few months have shown us anything, it's that making predictions in such a tight frame is not easy. So I'll go back to the advice that many experts we have talked to in this series keep telling me. Think long term, don't look at making a fast buck and be smart with your investments. So let's take a look at some of the other moves that have been shaking up the crypto industry. One thing that happened a little while back was the London upgrade to the Ethereum network. This made some significant changes to Ether, which is another one of those senior citizens in the cryptocurrency world launched back in 2015, which feels like a couple of lifetimes ago now. The London upgrade brought changes to improve the speed and increase incentives for mining Ether. It introduced a burn mechanic which essentially destroys some Ether and according to a report by Dune Analytics, over $1 billion worth of Ether has been burned in the process and lost forever, a number that has no doubt risen a lot higher by the time you watch this video. There is also a legal battle to trademark the Dogecoin name. And the reason is simple. Everyone wants to get in on the Shiba Inu themed coins popularity. Dogecoin has been imitated by SHB Baby Doge and now Little Baby Dogecoin. It's a never ending list and it's not surprising that people are making tokens like these because every time a celebrity like Elon Musk gives a nudge on social media to Doge, the rest also get a boost. Aside from this, I already told you about the developments with AMC, Magnum Real Estate and Walmart. So it's been an exciting couple of weeks in crypto if you're tracking how things are moving. And speaking of investments, with this turbulent period underway, what is the state of crypto by the numbers? Right now, if we look at figures on our crypto tracker, you can see that Bitcoin has grown by 0.17%, while Ethereum has also grown by 0.32%. Tether has suffered a slight dip of 0.51%, while Cardano has dipped by 3.70%. Dogecoin is also struggling and dipped by 1.41%. It's chaotic and volatile, but if you've been tracking this regularly as we have been, then you can start to see that there is some overall picture emerging and that is quite exciting. But for now, it's going to also depend on what the government says as the experts told us. That's it for Crypto Unfiltered this week. If you have any questions, send them across to our Twitter or our Facebook pages. This is Cyrus John signing off with a promise that I'll be back with more Crypto Gyan. Next week, stay tuned.